Well, we do have information that uh, an arrest uh, action was started, that there was uh, uh, a gun battle, that one of the war criminals was killed, but that others were in fact arrested, and that there were uh, fortunately only uh, minor wounds to those who were involved from the uh, NATO, from the British side in the arrest. Uh, for the whole country, I'm afraid Karadzic and Mladic are the keys, and uh, unless they're removed from the scene, um, I'm concerned that the situation would not improve, but could, frankly, deteriorate. Uh, nonetheless, let's express our thanks, our satisfaction, that someone had the courage, particularly the British forces here, the special forces, and, of course, that there was the political wisdom to move ahead with this crucial step. Without the arrest of war criminals, there is no peace in Bosnia. Well, I mean, uh, the high representative's position has always been that um, all indicted war criminals belong in front of The Hague. Um, we have long been saying, and, and particularly recently, um, that the presence of um, indicted war criminals, specifically um, people like Radovan Karadzic, have actually poisoned the atmosphere um, in terms of the peace implementation process. And so, therefore, any moves by NATO um, or by um, the international community in general to remove these people from the scene um, um, is, 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 is extremely welcome. That it is extremely important that international troops in Bosnia and Herzegovina have accepted their responsibility for the arrest of the war criminals. And the second element, very important, is that no casualties have been reported. Therefore, I think that uh, they should continue doing the job as long as we do, do have reports of war criminals being on the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina. At approximately 09.30 hours this morning, S4 forces detain indicted war criminal Milan Kovacevic at the, hotel, at the hospital in Priador. The detention took place without incident. In a separate detention action in the vicinity of Priador, Indicted war criminal Simo Drolachka, the former police chief in Priador, opened fire on S4 soldiers as they approached and challenged him for the purpose of detaining him. One of the S4 soldiers was wounded in the process. Drolachka was killed when fire was returned in self-defense. <laughs> 